So what we're going to do, all right, is we're just going to go through scene four, okay, which is when Claudia comes on with a new dress. Mm -hmm. Lydia, and you're going to be sitting here, and Claudia's going to come and have the conversation with you about you're still waiting for love, and you've got your heart, yeah, and that's got the joke with, about Doug. What do you call a man with a shovel in his head? Doug. Yeah. And then we're just going to run through that material. As it's one week till we open. The visuals are coming together now. It's the first time really we've had the three channel video projection up and running to play with. Um, we've just been working with the back screen up until now. Um, and yeah, we've got, you know, up until Saturday really to just be running everything in. And then next week we go into our tech and our dress um, before opening on Thursday night. Give it back to me. I can't find love. Okay, and then Matt will go with what's on the script. So Lydian's going to this time, I work for a company called Urban Theatre Projects. However, when I was invited to direct this show, um, I was a freelance artist and uh, Julian Louis, the artistic director of Norpa, um, yeah, asked me if I wanted to just kind of meet a band. Chala Blip is an uh, electronic ensemble, electronic music ensemble. Uh, there's five of us, and um, yeah, and we do sort of like you know electronic outside of pop type of stuff. Sometimes experimental, you know, well, pretty experimental stuff. And our part in the show came about because uh, Julian from Norpa came and saw us perform and when he saw us perform live he contacted me soon after and said would you be interested in creating a theatre show around Tra La La Blip. Uh, sound basically was the starting point for a lot of the, the conversations because of Tra La La Blip. Obviously the project came out of the band so all of that musical information and ideas that they had were a place for us to start exploring what the ideas for the work would be. But it's very different from a live performance as the band. So there has been challenges uh, for all of us, but I think um, the beautiful thing about working with a mixed ability ensemble is that we all have learnt from each other every step of the way. My Radio Heart and Tra La La Blip, it's a really, it's a pretty natural fit, apart from you know, being nervous about actually performing and not behind a, a row of instruments all the time because we're used to sort of being able to just focus on instruments and now we're having to just do a little bit and then do what Rosie asks and that's been challenging but fun Very, too. very, but very challenging but fun, challenge, interesting. Yeah, yeah, it's been very challenging <laughs> but great. It's really nice of ideas that were from the very beginning before we even really knew what the show was about, to see those ideas kind of come into the space. So that little heart there that Lydian carries, you know, was one of the very first ideas of him having something that lights up, his heart light up. So, you know, it's nice when you start to see all those things um, find their way into the show. The pieces come together, really. I think it's satisfying for the guys as well. So to me, the show is really interesting because um, it's when thinking about video in theatre, in, in theatre and performance and dance, it's usually used as a sort of um, backdrop. But in this show, it's a little bit of um, meta video in a way. In that, from the beginning, um, it's clear that the video is orchestrated by one of the performers, Matt. Um, he turns the video on, he cues things, he cues the characters in the videos to come on in the background. She's in a, in a well, in a, in a big screen, and I go up to dance with her. Matt is the creator, I guess, and he's, you know, created different aspects of, you know, could be perceived as his personality or his needs to move forward with his life. Um, so there's the romantic, there's the maintenance, there's the memories, and there's a the searcher. So it's, I mean, I guess it's the same for everybody in their search in life. Um, so it's just projected onto different multiple platforms here. It's tricky to see the door. Yeah. It's tricky to see the door. But man, you just go in there, you know it's on this side of the monotribe. I think as well the relationship between the characters is quite unusual. You don't 
often see the kind of dimensionality in a work. And that's, for me, one of the really exciting things is seeing the way that Rosie creates these linkages between these different worlds that are existing in the same physical space. We actually all practice in a church hall a few times. Yeah, yeah with the yeah. People. Yeah, we've been doing like creative developments for around 18 months. Yeah. It's a lot of months, so okay. past, yeah. It's been a mix of a devising process, but also of, you know, really workshop process um, of timing, of rhythm, of, you know, building focus and concentration and just their skills. It's great to see people develop and potential. I get a little bit teary when I talk about that, but it's um, that's one of the coolest things about working with uh, this mixed ability ensemble. Personally, I've come full circle mm -hmm. because years ago I used to work with people with a disability, um, you know, and do, I used to do a lot of workshops, and that was probably 15 years ago now. So it's really satisfying for me to come back now running a company and do a professional theatre show um, because you can, you can push things further. You know, and it's a really fantastic creative team around this project, like Sam James, who's a long-time collaborator of mine. You know, Lawrence English from Brizzy, he's been just working really closely with the band on sound design. Um, we've been very fortunate to be very well funded for this project uh, by Arts New South Wales and uh, funding that came through Vincent Fairfax Family Foundation that allowed us to build workshops into the development stage to end up with a show on stage that will, you know, be here for Lismore Northern Rivers audience and then travel to Sydney for a Sydney and wider audience which is just exciting. It's going to draw everyone in because it's a full sens like sensory overload in a good way. <laughs>